I decided to do a little comparison and measure Australia using the two maps, the Google Earth's map with a globe and the Gleason map. As you can see from the Google Earth, we've got about 2,515 miles across. I tried to use the two peninsulas on either side because they seem to be the two furthest points on the uh, globe. So uh, using the calculator for Google Earth, it was fairly easy to calculate that. So then I decided to go over to um, Gleason map and I created those two purple lines that go from the center of the map uh, directly outward on either side of Australia. And if you notice that as the purple line goes out towards the white ice ring, you'll notice that the degree lines, the longitudinal lines, uh, says 105 and 120 from right to left, 135 and 150 and so forth. So those are in 15 degree increments and each um, divider in between. So you have two black lines and one white line in the middle. Each one of those is 15 degrees. So by marking that down and putting the line all the way across, we can see that the position of the um, of Australia on the Gleason map will be at about 25 degrees latitude that's um, south 25 degrees south latitude and then on the um, for the latitude we're gonna put excuse me for the longitude we're going to put on one end at 113 degrees and then on the other side of Australia it's about 154 degrees so when I put that calculation into the uh, distance bearing uh, lat long distance calculator I came out with 4120 kilometers so then I put that in the converter on there and it comes out to 2560 miles so I only have a difference of 35 miles between both calculations and I'm sure I'm not exactly hundred percent accurate but that's close enough that both maps will give you the correct distances of the two land masses but one of them is distorted and I can guarantee you it is the globe the globe distorts apparently everything from the horizon, excuse me, from the um, equator either direction. Now the previous video I did, which um, my assumption was that the there was not enough land mass on either side of the equator to to uh, to create the proper um, land masses on the globe. It turns out is incorrect, and I'm working on another video to explain that. But basically, the equator outward is the point where everything starts to distort. And I'll be, I'll be showing you examples of that, um, in that in that video. So anyway, for as far as distances, you can use either one. Each one will be correct. The way I think that Google Earth is doing it is, even though they're, they have this obscure and deformed image it's still calculating based on the same values as the Gleason map in fact um, whatever they show you is irrelevant because it's calculated between the two points and it's degrees distance or degrees in time so it doesn't matter which one you use the the distance are going to be correct but the visual the actual appearance of the land masses are not going to be because the globe distorts everything from the equator out. Ah, the circumference of the Earth. This is a number we see and hear constantly. The Earth is 25,000 miles in circumference. 
And according to space.com, that appears to be right. It's 24,860 to be exact. But it's slightly fatter around the equator at 24,902 miles. Why? I don't know. They say it's because the spinning is causing that. But it's interesting because when we look at the uh, Gleason map, and it's a nautical mile is has a direct relation to the number of degrees, or actually it should be the other way around. A degree has a direct relationship to how many miles. Specifically, it's 60 miles to the degree. So for every degree, you travel 60 miles. Well, if the Earth is round, a disk, it would have to have 360 degrees. And 360 degrees comes out to 21,600 nautical miles 21,600 nautical miles comes out to 24,860 English miles coincidence I think not Let's discuss Tiger Dan 925. His little map making fiasco was it's hard to explain. The man is fake as can be. He was not a Christian, is not a Christian, and he will pay for that. I'm sure of it. But when we look at his little uh, flat earth map that he started out with, with the exception of the grid, there was no markings on that map. There was no which de- line represents which degrees of latitude or longitude. There was no equator marking. There was no markings for the for the Tropic of Cancer or the Tropic of Capricorn. There is though, however, one single black line, which is the second uh, the third line from the center. And it was from his, it was there from the very first uh, video he did, which is this one we're looking at. And what that represents is the Arctic Circle. Which is odd because he put everything didn't put anything else in there other than the Arctic Circle as the only one. Well, that's because when you look at the Arctic Circle, um, the position of that is at sixty six point three three degrees. That's true for the north as well as for the south. Even on the flat Earth map, that w- that's what they consider the Arctic Circle, is the 66.33 degree line. So, Tiger Dan 925 is not just a shill. He is a despicable human being. 